Carson Daly. Weekday mornings on LA's 97.1 Amp Radio. Our next guest is a Grammy Award winning superstar. He sold more than 50 million singles worldwide. He is definitely back with a bang. <laughs> Please welcome back to the program, ladies and gentlemen, Bruno Mars. Aloha, Bruno. I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. <laughs> Come on, man with some money in my pocket. Bruno Mars, live on Amp Radio at 8:07. Good to see you, Bruno. Carson, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Last time you were here, you were so excited for Unorthodox Jukebox. You looked at me right where Angie was mm-hmm. sitting, and you were like, "Man." I am so excited. Oh, forget that album because I'm. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I'm over that album. <laughs> He's excited about this new one. Listen, you got 24K Magic. The song is fire. Great on SNL. You're in a just an awesome rollout position. November 18th, the album drops. There's been so much um, secrecy about the album. I'm gonna see how how much I can get out of you in the yeah. next 20 minutes. Yeah. I gotta uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> But um, let's just start with the single because it's the title track. You know, we ask a lot of artists to stay in their lane. That's why mm-hmm. Pitbull doesn't sing any ballads. <laughs> You're an artist going into that last record. You were like, listen, I, I don't want to be in a lane. I'm not going to be in a lane. When I go into a studio, I want to be able to do any kind of genre of music that I want to do. Mm-hmm. So when you go in to do 24K Magic, it's the third record, and you've got so much success behind you on the first two. Mm-hmm. Pressure enough on that. Where were you at musically just walking in? You know, I think it's just, it's what I learned from tour. Uh, Unorthodox Jukebox is a product of the first album. We were on tour, and I felt like, man, we got a lot of ballads, but we ain't moving enough. We're not dancing enough. We need songs like like Treasure and and, and Locked Out of Heaven. And 24 Karat Magic is, is, you know, again, we need something we can move to. We're going to keep the party going and, and be one of the best live shows people have ever seen. So make sure we have the material to do so. You were already that. Not yet, man. I'm just getting started, Carson. Uh, you were already that. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> when you look at your resume, you're already one of the best-selling artists of all time. I mean, it's amazing when you go down the stats. I don't have to do it to your face. But I know we can do it. I mean, let the people know. <laughs> oh, you, you know. You know. The Grammys. Oh, that's right. <laughs> the 170 million, the, the the six singles you beat your boy Elvis's record, oh, the quickest man. to get to five number one hits. I mean, man. I could go 35 on. 35 hot 100 hits. Come on. It's ridiculous. Wow. Thanks, guys. The multiple Super Bowls. <laughs> this is how you start a morning. Yeah. You know what it is, too, though, man? It's the hooligans. I mean, it's about, you look at the history of funk, mm-hmm. and you know it was never just about James Brown. He couldn't have done that by himself. It was never just about P-Funk. I mean, all those things, all those groups that you love and you studied, right. they couldn't do it alone. Right. That's, that's my, you know, my army behind me. Those are my guys, and, you know, if, if I fall in the fire, they're going to fall with me, and I think that's the most important thing is that we're up there and we're trying to, we're trying to, you know, make everybody move. Are and you guys always having that much fun? Absolutely. Because I mean, look, you look at SNL when you're in the back there, and yeah. I'm just like, these guys probably walk around right. when they go to Starbucks we out of here, like, to walk in like with the right? choreography <laughs> and hey, <laughs> take a frappuccino, yo, <laughs> draped in silk. <laughs> Like, you just wear it well, man. Like, if you can't have fun, it's got to be so much more fun to be successful when you're the, actually having fun. The truth is, the minute I'm not having fun doing this, then I'm out. And you won't see me anymore. So, let's write some songs that we're going to go and, you know, turn SNL into a party. Let's well, talk. Let's talk 24 Karat Magic, the video for it, like, that's a party that everybody wants to be at. That's what makes it so cool. Like, that's, that's why you got to come to the show, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's that simple. It is fun. What else can you give me on the record? I mean, let's just start with what you put out. We got a little chunky going. Man, you got the live. You guys are playing awesome. the live version. It was awesome. That's all we got. That's all we got. You ain't gonna give me anything. <laughs> Bruno Mars, you're like. NDAs? Good? I'll sign whatever you want me to sign if you give me some some mastered music. It's just us. Nobody. You like you like yeah. Obama with the new codes close yeah. to your chest with your music. You know why? Because it's very important that the world hears this album in its entirety. I feel like on this album, I really focused on giving you one continuous wave so as soon as you put this album on you know you're uh, you're gonna be taken for a ride and maybe like the uh, unorthodox jukebox and do Officer hooligans you know I was a little all over the place because I told like I said I want to do whatever it is I want to do and I'm gonna write a reggae song and a ballad and, and uh, locked out of heaven but this album this album I'm just gonna say it. can I just say it yes, yes. this is the best anything. album I've ever done that's Whoa. what I'm talking about <laughs> 
<laughs> Out of all three of them, this is the one. I wish I had the I wish I had the audio when he was here with, right. two years ago with Stay. Unorthodox. He was like Carson. This, this is, is it. the this is it. This is it. The scary thing about Bruno is that. Not a lot of people can come in here and actually back it. Like, it's true. Like, it's mm-hmm. true. And you know, when you wrote, like, on November 3rd, you tweeted out, like, it's done. I know you wouldn't have sent that out to your fans if, in your heart of hearts, you didn't walk out of that studio going like this. That's right. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm good. I'm out. That's right. Who else is on the record? <laughs> uh, Angie, get your, uh, I only your have, lasso. Put it around. Right. Get, I, get I, some only, I only have nine tracks on the record. So, it's really, I, I don't have any features. Um, There's not a Beyonce track? No, I wish there was, but mm. hopefully we'll get that soon. I should just say there is, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. There definitely is, 100%. Piss a lot of people off. <laughs> yeah. Don't come oh, in we, here and lie. We I cut know. it. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> we we like you too much. We'll find you. Beyonce's Already on. pre-ordered the album. <laughs> um, all right, a couple questions. We're going to play play a song, try and get some more out of you. Is Inglewood really known for their shoes? <laughs> You haven't been out there? No, I, I lived. I went to Loyola Marymount, man. Yeah. I lived on Manchester. So you haven't been to the Slauson Swap, man? I, I used to buy my shirts at the Slauson I know the Slauson Swap. What do you think? I got all my hats but, okay. and all, all the gators. And... I'm telling you, you, you blew us up. Though. You're talking about the best shoes in the game? The Come best on. shoes in the game. Inglewood. You can't, uh, where else can you get yellow gators, blue gators, green gators, purple gators? And That's Inglewood. Your style's on, but you got the shorts rocking. Mm-hmm. I've been rocking shorts for a while, Carson. I saw you the last oh, yeah. time, and I was like, you know what? I got to get on this Carson yeah. tip. Got to get yeah. on the shorts. I'm always in always shorts. In shorts. I, he walked in here, he thought he was back in Hawaii, the way <laughs> I am. I'm in shorts and flip-flops <laughs> every the day. Time, yeah. <laughs> not getting a lot out of them, Julian fans. I'm <laughs> not. I'm trying. I'll give trying you hard. Just let me know. What, what about Skrillex? What was up with that? Skrillex is the homie, and, you know, I, I just love to have him in the studio just to, you know, for his opinion. And he's just got the sounds of doom in his computer, and it's just, he's... <laughs> he does, he does. Not by the way, Sonny's his name. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. One of the nicest guys in the business for, for sure, real. and a hardworking guy. And the guy's bouncing off the walls, traveling all over the world with a laptop, yeah, making a million dollars a night, and a student of music. And he's telling me, I went to Brazil, and they're playing this, and look. <laughs> what does that do? For, so, is there any influence on that on this record? Um. Well, me and him got together. We're gonna work on something. Uh, uh, what, what, what? The Brazilian thing I just did? <laughs> yeah, no, anything with Skrillex. That's on the album. Yeah, <laughs> that Brazilian that song thing. you just did. <laughs> no, me and Skrillex, uh, we didn't get a chance to to finish what we Not started. Not one of the nine tracks. But we will. We will. Can Shout we go out back to, to, to Twenty Four Karat Magic real quick? No. Uh, should I be offended or happy about bad bitches and their ugly ass oh, friends? Oh, you should oh, yeah. be happy. Okay, Come on. I was just curious. That means that's the all inclusive. Oh, everybody's vibe. in. That's like, everybody's should in. Be happy. So I'm invited, is what you're saying. You should be happy. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> this song make the album? I was giving you an appetizer. It's fun that. to watch you in the studio. Is that where you're, I mean, aside from, uh, prioritize it for me, you're happiest in the studio creating? Or on stage performing? Uh, it goes hand in hand. You know, it's like um, I was in the studio for a long time, and I, I, I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. <laughs> but I'm not going to put nothing out until I feel it's right. So we were just killing ourselves over 24 Cat Magic. That song took a while to, you know, to, for all of us to sign off, me and the guys. and and um, How do you know when to quit? It's like sometimes... Uh, the girl's cutting my hair, and I have a pretty, and, and literally, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I think Same we're good, thing. and she just yeah. keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. It's like in the studio. How do you know when you keep listening back to it, you're gonna if go back it, and punch it, back in? Is that no? Is, if it moves you or not? Sometimes you, you know, when you're writing a song, you could take a left turn that takes it to this place that you should have never have been. It happened with Uptown Funk. It happened with Grenade. I could tell you all the stories of every single song where we'll go to a chord change that just totally takes you out of the pocket. And uh, same thing with 24 Karat Magic. We're changing the bass line around over and over to make sure we got the right bass line and the right, the right chords and um, the right drum groove. And it's when, when, you, when it's finished, it's kind of a unanimous decision. Where it's like, it can't get better than this. And we don't know, you know, we don't know if people are going to like it, but this feels good. Some of your ballads have been some of your biggest songs. I, you wanted to take a break from that on this record a little bit and just focus on the tempo being a little more up? Yeah, well, I've, you know, I'll... I wrote uh, just the way you are when I was your man. I'm gonna sing those songs to the day. I, Grenade mm-hmm. to the day I die. I'm gonna be singing that. I don't ever want to say. I don't ever want to come here and be like, yeah, I got this song called Just the Way You Are Part Two. <laughs> You're still amazing. <laughs> you know, kind of amazing now. <laughs> For me, I have. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're all right. You're right. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Um, more grenades. More, right. 
So it's just kind of like I need to be inspired to keep you to keep going. So I, that means opening up my world and you know seeing what else I can write about. Your music's so different than the popular music that it's often played next to on stations like Yampa yeah, here in LA and all over the yeah. world for that matter. Do you listen to popular music? Were you influenced by anything popular? Do you try and stay away from it on purpose? No, I mean I haven't been on the I haven't been listening to the radio too much. Uh, you know, every time I drive to the studio, I'll, I'll, I'll click on. I'll click on 97.1. That's yeah. right. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you. There's our next promo. You like that? I uh, love it. Um, uh, but, you, but you wrote, people forget, like, you when you started, I mean, like, you've been doing this your entire life. I don't know if people really, maybe have new Bruno Mars fans out there that are 16, 17 and don't know. I mean, you've been doing this literally your whole life. And you've been yeah. pay, getting paid to make music, except for that little stint when you moved here first to L.A. Yeah. Uh, aside from that. <laughs> but, I mean, you've written songs for so many people. I just don't know how you compartmentalize it and turn it on and go, here, i got to focus on these nine tracks. Well... I, I guess that's what it is. You know, we created this world uh, for 24 Karat Magic, and we wanted to just complete the thought and 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 uh, give you guys the opening and closing. And the, the the music video shows you that everybody's invited to this party we're about to throw. Don't be the guy left out. Even the bad bitches and their ugly yeah, ass friends. Right. And you're especially everybody. the bad the bitches. And also, <laughs> at that, you seem like you throw the type of party where you don't want to hear about politics and religion. This seems like, check that stuff at the door. Well, Are you a I political just, person? Well, uh, I just feel like there's so much weird things going on in the world. And I, you know, what, I, what I love about what I do is that if you ever come to a show, I see everybody dancing and moving. So for that hour and 45 minutes, hour and a half, I have everybody dancing and moving. And that's, you know, I'm about to get real corny on you, but that's the world I want to live in. <laughs> You right. know, and so what I can offer to the party... I'd vote for that. Yeah. Yeah. What I, what Bring I, it for president. Yeah. I'm in. I might write you in. I really, might. Yeah. I really might. I really might. Someday. <laughs> but what, what I can offer to you know the party is that. Is that, you know, let's, let's, let's dance. It's coming at a good time, too, because everybody's so sick of the mm -hmm. political cycle that's out there. You let's hear just like, have fun. Up, yeah, just turn up the music. Let's that's have fun. It. Come it's on. Like we need it more than ever, so it's good timing on the record. Are you so excited to be performing? You're doing We Can Survive this weekend. You did Saturday Night Live. You're opening the AMA, as they announced that this morning. I can't wait. Is I'm that, kicking the door down. That's right. And nice. By the way, We Can't Survive is a big show here at the station. We ask all you guys to come out. So many great artists like Ariana Grande and Charlie Pooch, Easy, Megan Trainor, Warner Public, and Pitbull, yourself. Thank you for doing it. It's a big deal for us here in L.A. It's for a great cause. Breast cancer is affected. My mom's a survivor. When we go there that night, Angie and mm -hmm. I talk to all sorts of people who are affected by it. So... Uh, a special thank you because the Hollywood Bowl is such a, uh, a heritage venue here in L.A. Mm -hmm. And to get one of the best musical acts in the world on that stage is a treat That's for awesome, us. Yeah. Uh, and not to me so sweet. Not to mention uh, doing it for such a good cause. So thank you for that. He said that to Pitbull when he was yeah. there. He did. Just yesterday. <laughs> I just said yesterday. the exact same thing. I ended it with, <laughs> 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 Same exact thing in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's give away a pair of tickets <laughs> to check out Bruno Mars. It's sold out. You're in the first five rows. Call her 20 971 hits. Uh, 971 4487. Uh, the tour. What do you want to tell your fans about touring this new record? Just get ready. Okay. Just get ready. It's going to be something you've never seen before. And we're going to have fun. Just. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm trying to be a humble man, Carson. No, I'm, trying to, I'm he trying to help to you sell you records awesome and pump it up. <laughs> Got the AMAs, as Angie mentioned. You're opening that two days after the record comes out. That'll be great. Go pre-order the album, everybody. pre-order the record, um, and you're off to a great... Is Chunky the next single? Do you want to go there? No, you know, Chunky, that's... Chunky's smooth. Chunky's, Chunky's awesome. smooth, but yeah. I'm... There's, I'm... There's nine will you, get, will you get me the other version of this? I'll sign an NDA. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> No, I got some songs on here, Chris. Well, I know you do. I couldn't be more proud of. And I really—it's really this song represents the theme of the record in a lot of ways. Because if you ain't here to party, then take your ass back well, home. It. I mean, that's pretty much that. That could be the tag to this movie. Done. Right there. <laughs> Done. All right. What are you gonna do now? What's your day like today? What, what is I your doing? life like today? Was that actually your jet in the video? Absolutely. <laughs> Where are you going trying today? To be humble. I'm trying to be humble. Here, it's just my one, one of my. You're jets. gonna go hit the slots and swap meet, pick up yeah, some gators, shoes. and then go over to Van Nuys and get out of here yeah. on your yeah. on go your G4. Taco, go to a taco stand somewhere. I love you, man. I love how you roll. Straight ghetto to Gucci and That's everything it, in between. Man, come on. You ain't not in the lane. You're all over the lanes. I'm all over it. Swerving. <laughs> Switching. <laughs> Switching. Listen, man. Honestly, great to have you in this morning. Thank and you, and I, I know you're. I'm glad that you kept the album a little tight because people are gonna pre-order it. And when they listen to it from the first track to the last track, they're gonna experience it uh, without it have been le leaked and without too much info on it. So I respect that too. Thanks, man. All I right. don't. I don't know what to say, guys. Thank you for having me. Greatest album of all yeah. time. Right. <laughs> there we go. There go. go. <laughs> we'll see you on Saturday. We can't Saturday. survive. The great right. Bruno Mars, everybody. <laughs> 
Carson Daly. For more, go to AmpRadio.com.